So what about, I know you read this book and I'm like 150 pages in, lights out about GE. Yeah. Right. So let's talk about, I mean, what about, what, what was your interpretation there? I don't I, think in GE my was opinion, very it was well a, run. I think it was a corporate <laughs> governance disaster at the top with management. Yeah. And their extreme focus on EPS growth mm-hmm. and not growth in cash flows, which a lot of time, if you look at a lot of companies that you could say fall from grace, whatever, mm-hmm. Enron, that tends to be the situation. That they focus on EPS instead of cash, yeah. yeah. And the, the, there's a huge disparity in a lot of times between, you know, net income and cash flow. Yes. Um, yeah. And they were doing other things as well. GE to, you know, really, um, I guess you could say falsify or smooth earnings per share sure. as well. Which Coke know. was doing at the same time, basically. Is yeah, I think there. different times were different too. Yeah. Right, with disclosure and stuff yeah. like that. Um, it's interesting because on the one hand, I think a big part of that is the business one that I said. So I think many of the things at times that GE did also some of them, not all, but some of those same problems with management stuff happened at times at Disney and Coke and they were much more resilient Mm -hmm. because their businesses are much easier. Sure. And then they also had much better positions in them. Yeah. Uh, I mean, GE literally was a black box. Yes. So, and I think that kind of hid um, management not making some very good decisions on lots of things. It was also typical things. They made a lot of acquisitions and things like mm-hmm. that. Um, they did some very weird things uh, because the book acquisition has, accounting. <laughs> yeah. The, the book talks a little bit about the Alstom uh acquisition and i only just that's one that i know a little bit more about because i had researched babcock and wilcox and everything and and that was a big competitor for them and so i did a bunch of research into that and i just thought that was a very very weak company and they decided to make it as a really big transformers sort of deal now to be fair like jack welch and stuff had wanted to end his time there by taking over honeywell mm-hmm. which would yeah. have been a big acquisition that i think would have made a lot would have been a much better acquisition than what they ended up doing something like the Alstom deal and stuff, which I thought wasn't such a great company um, and was in bad shape and stuff too. And they kind of doubled down on a tough industry that way. But you know, uh, so the problem with that is from a management perspective, right? If you ask people at that time, I think they would have said that G had some of the best management, sure. and certainly yeah. the best management lower down in the organization. They said it was, it was like the best business it. school to go to, you know, you'd yeah. go there and if you wanted to leave, you, you would have like a CEO spot somewhere else. Yeah. But was it, was that perception wrong? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What companies like, I mean, cause GE was very much the company, like everyone wanted to not everybody, but it was just like you were an all-star if you were mm-hmm. there, right, and working there. And they very much go over that in the book. What company do you think is like that today? Who has that celebrity status? I can tell you who comes to my mind. But I'm curious. Okay. Your mind. I, would, I would say Amazon. Jeff Bezos, oh, Amazon. very much so. Yeah. Amazon, yeah. I was, no, I mean, of course, totally different businesses, <laughs> very different okay. business models and everything like that. But just from yeah. an intangible okay. perspective, I that could see definitely that. be true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but that was, in my opinion, a corporate, I mean, a management disaster. It sounded like no one really knew. Right. But how do you judge from the outside and people just assume that they have good management or whatever? Yeah. Well, they even said at some point, it's like, you have to trust us, (laughs) you know, Mm -hmm. is because you can't, I mean, even people at management didn't know a hundred percent of what was going on and no one does at any company, but I think at GE, it was very much. You know, like it was that. it was bad at G. They didn't know that they hadn't sold all off all their insurance. Yeah, they really didn't. There were people really high up in the organization who didn't really understand that. So mm-hmm. that's pretty bad. Who were the best CEOs that you've seen outside of you know the typical Bezos and Buffett? Hmm. Jamie Dimon, but we okay. talk about him a lot. We give him credit a lot. Yeah. Outside of let's say those three. Yeah, I mean, I've told you in. Um, Let's see where they are now. Uh-